Hello family, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make quick and easy banana rolls or banana pinwheels. Let's get straight to the video. I'm going to start the video by making self rising flour. In my bowl, I have three cups of whole pepper seed flour. To it, I'm going to add three tablespoons of baking powder. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of sugar and half a tablespoon of salt to taste. Then I'm going to give that a quick mix as shown in the video. I'm now going to add a cup of warm milk bit by bit as I mix my flour together with my milk as shown in the video. So for this part you can use a spatula or a spoon to mix well. So for me I used a spoon. And you have to use a strong spoon to mix this well as shown in the video. going to go in with my hand and then I'm going to knead my dough thoroughly making sure that there are no lumps on my dough. So when kneading your dough just make sure that you knead your dough really really well and make sure that you get rid of any lumps in your dough. I'm now going to be adding 3 tablespoons of cooking oil as shown in the video and then I'm going to knead my dough well again to mix my flour together with the oil that I just added. After a while my dough is almost ready, I'm now going to go in with my feast and knead this dough well to make sure that there are no lumps on it. I'm going to take my time to knead this dough well. And like you can see our dough is now ready and it's looking so good. I'm now going to rub a little bit of my cooking oil on it as shown in the video. Then I'm just going to cover my dough well and rest it for at least 10 minutes. So when our dough is resting, let's go ahead and prepare our banana. I have one medium sized ripe banana there as you can see. I'm going to just peel my banana and then I'm going to add it to my white bowl right there. I'm now just going to go in with my spoon and mash my banana well. You can use a potato masher or a fork to mash your banana. Make sure your banana is lumpless. I'm just going to set my banana aside and then I'm going to go ahead and check on our dough. And our dough is now well rested and now I'm going to go ahead and cover my dough and then I'm going to knead it again for at least 2 minutes. And that's how our dough looks. I'm now going to set that aside for a little while and then I'm going to go ahead and rub some oil on my boards. So since I'm going to be spreading this a little larger to make our rolls, I used two of my boards since I don't have a large working surface. So I placed two boards as shown in the video and then I'm going to add my dough. I'm then going to use my rolling pin to flatten my dough into a rectangle as shown in the video. So just make sure that you take your time to flatten your dough well. Yeah, and that's how our dough looks. I'm now going to go ahead and spread my banana, the banana that we just mashed. When doing this, just make sure you leave at least a quarter an inch on the sides so when you are rolling this, it doesn't become very messy. 
and then I'm just going to sprinkle three tablespoons of cinnamon to give this an extra taste and then I'm going to go ahead and just roll my banana roll gently as shown in the video So the filling that we had added is banana and banana is a little bit messy. So if any of your filling pops out, just grab a spoon and remove them as shown in the video so you don't mess your rolls. And like you can see I did that. I'm now just going to go ahead and try and secure the sides as shown in the video. And since this is slippery, it's a little hard to secure the sides. And then I'm now going to go ahead and start cutting my dough or my rolls. I'm just going to go ahead and make at least 10 marks with my knife there to make it easy to cut my rolls quick. So for the dough that you prepared, you can make 10 to 15 rolls. And I'm now just going to go ahead and use a string to cut my rolls as shown in the video. And when doing this, just make sure you take your time so you don't mess your rolls since our filling is banana and cinnamon. And banana is a little slippery and messy. I'll leave you to watch me for a little bit and I'll be right back. I cut the rest of the rolls off camera and like you can see this is how our banana rolls look. I'm now going to go ahead and just spread some oil on my tray again and then I'm going to go ahead and transfer my bread my banana rolls onto that tray and then I'm going to use my spoon to gently Press on my rolls as shown in the video to just reshape them since when you are transferring them some of them got a bad shape. And like you can see I'm not done and that's how our rolls look. The sides are a little bit not secure but that's just going to work. I'm going to cover this well and rest it for at least an hour. After an hour, here I am again. I'm now going to be checking on our rolls, and that's how they look. I'm now going to go ahead and fry our rolls. We are going to be shallow frying these rolls today. I'm not going to be baking my rolls, I'm going to be shallow frying my rolls. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to my pan as shown in the video, then I'm going to be adding my rolls. And then I'm just going to use my spoon right there to gently press on my rolls as shown in the video to make sure that they are not so thick. You can bake these rolls for at least 10 to 15 minutes in your oven or in your stove top. But today I'm now just going to be frying these rolls real quick. I'm going to be frying the first side for 3 minutes. And after 3 minutes as you can see I'm checking on it and that's done. I'm just going to turn the other side. And the rest of the rolls are shown in the video. I'm also going to gently press on them to make sure that the inner part of my rolls are also cooked. 
so you have to cook this rolls on medium low heat and make sure that they are fully cooked even in the inside After a total of 5 minutes, our rolls are now ready. I'm just going to remove my rolls from my pan and set them aside. I'm not just going to repeat the process real quick on speed as shown in the video. When you are cutting your rolls before you fry them or bake them, just make sure you don't make them so thick. That way when you are frying them, the, the inner part of your rolls cook the inner part of your rolls also need to cook so make sure you just cut them a little bit thinner the dough we prepared should give you at least 10 to 15 rolls minimum after a while my rolls are now ready I'm not just going to arrange them as shown in the video on my board so you can see how they look. So the black part in them, they are not burnt. It's just the feeling that we had dead spilled on them and that's why they look a little bit black but they're just good. So after frying your rolls, if you feel that the inner part of your roll is not fully cooked, you can just go ahead and cut your rolls in half and then you are going to fry the inner part of your rolls for at least 2 minutes of each. After my rolls are ready, before I serve them, I am going to prepare some frosting. This part of the video is actually optional. I am going to add 250 ml of vanilla yogurt in my bowl and then I am going to go ahead and go in with my hand mixer and mix that thoroughly. If you want this frosting to be much thicker, just rest your vanilla yogurt in the fridge for at least an hour to make it a little cold and then remove it and beat it with your hand mixer. And like you can see our frosting is ready and it's just simple as that. I'm not going to add any sugar in it since these are banana rolls and they are already sugary. And then I'm just going to be adding my banana rolls one by one. I'm going to be dipping them in our frosting as shown in the video. And then I'm going to put them in my tin. I'll then put them in the refrigerator for at least another 30 minutes to make them extra soft and so that our rolls absorb the frosting. I hope you like this video and if you are new here, welcome to Beyond Aroma of Kenya where I make simple and easy recipes perfect for ordinary families and consider subscribing to join the family. Thanks for watching. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss my uploads. See you in my next video. Bye.